Your Excellency, our special guest of honor, the former governor of Kanu State, former minister of defense, former deputy speaker of House of Representatives, by the special grace of God, the presidential candidate of the NNPP, Alhaji Engineer, Radio Kwakwanso, Fellow of Major Institute of Engineers. Your Excellency, the Deputy Governor of the State, the Vice Presidential Candidate of the NNPP, our dear brother Idahosa, the Zonal Chairman of our great party, Chief Danabe, former Deputy Speaker, Chibuda Uche, the single Senator, Barinanda Mpigi, Senator representing the River Southeast Senatorial District. Our own friend, Buba Galadima, the man who speaks the truth all the time. Members of the delegation of our special guests of honor, the representative of the managing director of Jeros Bigger, my friend Fisher, Engineer Fisher, and members of the same former chief whip of the Senate, the chairman of MO Local Government Council, Chairman River State and General Laws Council, particularly the name of the MO or Sergeant Chidi Awuse. <laughs> members of the National Assembly and State Assembly that are here, our dear leaders, our dear women, our dear youth, gentlemen of the press, ladies and gentlemen. Equality and make cow. Equality and make cow. And make And make And Your Excellency, I was special guest of honor. Let me, on behalf of the government and people of the state, most sincerely thank you and members of your team for honoring our invitation to be with us here today, the 21st of November 2022, to commission this road, Mbutanwa Road. Like what the chairman of the local government said, this road was flagged up June last year. This road has been completed for the past four months. Today, we are here to commission the road, and by a humble self, you have been here before in River State to commission. The room of our flyover. Today, you are here to commission the Mbutanwa Road. You may not understand the importance of today's commissioning. You are a senator. If you are a senator, they say, What's a senator? He's a senator. And today, you are one of your colleagues' place. Chief Andrew Uchendo. You are his community to commission his road. That is to tell you, we want you to commission 
your colleagues' community road. What I've always asked our people, what I've always said to people, I'm a friend to the governor of River State. I'm a friend to Mr. President. I know Mr. Vice President. I know the president of the World Bank. What is important is of your relationship with all these people, what have you brought to your people? Of, of what will be the benefit to your people? You know all these people, yet your people are suffering. Of what benefit will it be? If the people of Anoha, if I had chief, the sergeant that I wish and chief of staff and all of them, they said they are close to the governor of River State, and yet they cannot bring the one road project or any project to Amewa. Shame unto them. So, I've always said, wherever you are, bring the dividend of democracy to your people. Good governance, good governance is the welfare of my people. They did not just bring growth. A road that was built by the biggest construction firm in Nigeria, Julius Beggar. We sit light. And let me tell you, these people are, I'm sorry to say it, they are not in the city, but today they are in the city now. When we came here last time, they said, oh, the road will not be done. It's political propaganda. Is it a propaganda now? No. Car or propaganda? Then we tell you, car or propaganda? No. Nobody to be the monorail. When they walk you. Now, for record's sake, the people of Amawa, they say, oh, hi. Chidi, I wish I said I did this, I did that. I will tell you why I have to do what I did for the people of not just Emoha, but Emoha local. Uh, but let me start here. Where's Nda? Where's the Ashinobora? Where's the uh, Osa? Where are they? Where's Osa? He didn't come. Special guest of honor, this is his son, the father of Chief Andrew Chendu. These are his nephews. They have no position. They have never been to a state assembly. They have never been to a house of representatives. They have never been to a senate one day. They have never been council chairman. But these young men dragged the governor down here. Yes, a week, these three young men, no position in government. They had the ability. The love for their people and came to the governor and cried to the governor, our governor. We said we are going to support your government. Our governor, our people say, now that the governor has won, what have you brought home? Your Excellency, come to our rescue. The only thing we need from you, let us have a road we can use and go out 
and go to the farm. These are the three young men who dragged me down here. Can you imagine these three young men dragging a whole me to Mbutawa community and giving them a first class road? Continue to pray for them. They didn't think about their pocket. They didn't say, look, governor, empower us, put something in our pocket. The only empowerment they said they need, consult road for our people. Therefore, these are the true representatives of their people. Not those who will go to Abuja. Not those who will go to Port Harcourt and forget their people. Pray for them. For them to continue to remember their people. And that is what we want. Young men like this, who will have the opportunity to remember their people. I thank you all of you. I thank you. Your Excellency, our special guest of honor, I want anybody to challenge our administration and let it be known that this administration we have never done any project above 14 months. If you calculate all we have been commissioning, put them together from June last year till now, we are commissioning over 20 projects. Put all the money together for those 20 projects. Within one year, the projects are completed. We have, we have today, as of today, from 2019 till now, we have commissioned nine flyovers. Nine. Nine flyovers. By December, we will commission the 10th uh, flyover. By February next year, we will commission 11th and 12th uh, flyover. I came here, Chief Ausa said, I have done or has Sergeant Awuse Road. I've done Rumu Cheruma Kwande Road. I've done Issue of the Road. I've given them a campus of the university. I did not end there. I told them, Government Secondary School in Mawa, that their own son brought down. I was going to rebuild it. Am I building it today? Am I building it today? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Their own son came and brought it uh, down. I said I will come and repute it. Have I repute it now? Yes, Our own is promise made. Yes, yes sir, we can go to a bell. What will I go to a bell? Mr. Pajapo, who will go to a bell? In this local government, they had a son who was a commissioner for agriculture from Obakiri. They had no roads. Today, go and see what's happening in internal roads of uh, Abakri. Today, go and see Rumodogo 1 and 2, who are going to commission soon. Go and see Ababu, Ebedia, Omudioga. Um, uh, Tomorrow, we are commissioning that. We have done a bad road. What do you want me to do again that I'm not done? What do you want me to do again? Have I not done well for you? Have I not done well for you? Have I not fulfilled my promises to you? Maybe it will be the monorail where they walk you. And therefore, I have told all of us, they say, oh, I have caused trouble. I said, what is the trouble? But they say, oh, the Niger Delta says you account for the money. <laughs> I never said so to anybody. All I said, people should thank Buhari for me. For giving me money to do all the project. That's what I said. If you will interpret it in a different way, it's your own uh, business. Is it wrong to thank somebody who has done well for you? No. Does it mean you won't thank me for what I've done? No. Why not? Who said that? That's what I said. People brought uh, food for me here. Yeah. You brought two, uh, 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 who, uh, what? The girls of one of the daughters said they're here. No. No, no. no it's sheep. Okay. So, 
he brought network a calling native cow, which has English cow. So, to thank me, is it not? You brought yam, you brought bags of garlic, you brought uh, plantain, is it not? I brought fish. Thanking me. What are you thanking me for? For what I have done, is it not? Is it not? Is there anything wrong in that? No. So if I thank somebody to who gave me money, is there anything wrong? No. Is there anything wrong? No. I don't understand why people play politics every time. Thank you. People may not understand. When we when you wanted to lead PDP, I came to your house in Abuja. I said, sir, don't leave the party. I pleaded with you. I came two times. Those who never meant well for this party. Who would want to take control where they never sold? Oh you want to live where you never sold? They said, no. Leave Kwakwan Soto go. Who is he? Let him go. After all, I was senior president when he was the deputy speaker in the House of Reps. I said, no. He's an asset to the party in Kanu State. Kanu is very, very important for our party. Therefore, Whatever it takes, let's keep him. Let's manage him. They said, no, let him go. I said, the more the merrier, we are opposition party. We cannot continue to drive our people uh, away. Whoever is angry, let's keep him. They said, no. Oh, I went to see Kwa Kwanso. I said yes because I know with him and Kanu that likelihood that it will be better for us. But if we remove him or we allow him to go, <laughs> the repercussion will be too heavy. I said no. Kwa Kwanso left us. The only thing he told me that, well, I can remain. He will not remain. I said, I will stay and survive it and fight back. But let me tell you why I'm saying this today. When, I, when he was going, he told me, look, I'm going. My people who are remaining will support you. I know one thing I like in life. Forget these boggy boggy people now. All these are boggy boggy. They tell you one thing, yeah. Before you turn, they've done a different uh, thing. He told me. He said, "Look, I can assure you. Those of them who are remaining in the party, those of them who are going with me, will go with me. But those who are remaining, I can assure you, they'll support you. And they did. And they did. And that's why we talk about integrity." Do you understand what I mean? Integrity is very, very important. Whatever you tell me, do. Whatever I don't want to do, you don't need to say you will do it. So you're a man of integrity. You are a man of uh, integrity. It's unfortunate we're not in the same party. But God will help at the appropriate uh, time. God will help. People like this are people that should talk about leadership of the country. Yes, I have no, I have no apologies to make to anybody. I said it to Peter B when he came. And I want to also tell you that if you are coming for campaign here, I will give you the logistic support for you to campaign. <laughs> You are a former governor. The difference between me and you that you are former, I'm still present. 
you're a former minister, I'm a former minister. So why will I not accord you all the necessary support, protocol, and logistics? Why? And when you're a governor, you perform excellently well. Everybody knows in this country. Everybody knows. And so, I'm not afraid to say I'll give you all the log uh, logistic uh, support. I will do it. Protocol demands that I should do that. So I thank you for coming. And let them know these are people who mean well for this country. You are not preaching based on ethnicity. You are not preaching based on religion. You are selling yourself to Nigerians. Vote for what I can do. If that is just being Kanu, if that is not that media, I'll for my minister. I have what it takes to drive this country from where we are to the next level of development. It's not to say, don't vote for your Yoruba man. Don't vote for the man. That is not what we require in this country now. What we require is a man who put Nigeria together. So I'm happy. We, of Integrity Group, will continue to support whatever that is right. Whatever that will help this country. And so, see River State as your own. When you win too, remember us. When you win, you remember us. So, we're all here to make sure that this election will be free and fair. We have not started a full campaign. What we are doing as introduction to campaign. But what I have told our people, the only way you can disarm your, your opposition is to show them what you have done. Tell me who will come to Mbutamu now and say don't vote for us in the state. Is it possible? No. Is it possible? No. That is difficult. Our candidates in this state, sir, so don't be offended. If you have candidates here, tell them to take it easy. Because here, yeah, it's a no go. It's a no go. So it will be difficult. At the appropriate time, we will tell our people in the language they understand. Thank you. At the appropriate time, we will speak the language our people will understand. And they will implement that language. Abla. It was an maker. It was an maker. An maker. An maker. I don't want to say it. Badu. So, so it is important for all of us to know. I don't know people who stole like a stop line. People. The plain legacy to go and hide in Germany for over five years. They said they want to come and be governor. Governor, where? Is it possible? No, no she. No, she. Is it possible? Oh, we allow those armed robbers to come here again? No. To go and sell the plane again? No. To go and sell the street lights again? No. Far, far, far. No. Far, far, far. Hello, no. she. So, it's for the first state, uh, it's over. It's over, it is uh, Mr. President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Muhammad Adi Buhari, Grand Commander of the Federal Republic, who is the headmaster of their party, who is the principal of their party, who is the leader of their party, gave us a certificate that we have done too well that nobody has beaten us. Don't be so.
this one, and then we're going to say, we have not done anything. Is it possible? Is it possible? So I thank the community for coming out in your numbers to receive our special guests. I thank the chiefs, traditional rulers of Emma, Sergeant Awuse, for bringing out their people to show solidarity and support for this administration. Everything we have done here, we have never had any, comp any problem from the contractors that the communities don't want them to do any job. No. We have all gotten support, and that's why they have never said contractors have left the site. No way. And any new project we are going to flag up very soon, I can assure you, God willing, we'll finish them before we go. Some of politicians are telling me I should stop work. As if I stop work, what would I be doing again? If I stop work now, what would I be doing? I, I was voted to finish 29th of May, 2023. Is it not? Yeah. If I leave now, what would I be doing from that till May 29? So I will continue to work. I will continue to commission projects. I will continue to flag off uh, projects for the interest of our people. So I thank you very much. And let me therefore invite our special guest of honor to please, before he will talk to you, they will read about him. You know about him. Some of you only knew him as former governor, former minister. There are so many things you don't know about him. Who they will talk about him. And then he will talk to his people. Here and there, I will say, there used to be an SDP. But that time, NRC took over state. SDP didn't win here at that time. That's under on her sergeant, uh, I'm saying. So now it's a traditional uh, When we tell him, why not stay in your palace, let's play politics? He said, you cannot remove me here. I'll be a traditional ruler at the same time, advising you people on what to do. And he's been advising us very, very well. That is a very good traditional uh, ruler. So I thank all of you. Just be patient, two, three minutes, hear about what they will talk about him. Then he will come and talk to you, and then he will commission this road to the glory of God. Thank you, and God bless you.